Hello and welcome to today's tutorial by the Surgical Academy where we will be discussing surgical instruments. My name is Dr Tiffany Marie Borg and I will be delivering today's session. There is a vast array of surgical instruments that are available for use during a procedure. Each of these have the specific uses and advantages as well as disadvantages. As a surgeon it's important to know not only the names of these various instruments but also when they should be used. Different specialties will have their own specific kit Today, we're going to cover the main instruments that are found in a general surgery set for an open abdominal surgery. Tissue forceps may be ratcheted or non-ratcheted. There are seven common types of ratcheted forceps. Allies forceps, these are tooth surgical instruments. Babcock forceps, which are jawed surgical instruments with a smooth end. Dunhill forceps, just also small forceps with curved serrated ends, lane tissue forceps, little wood forceps, sawtile forceps, and Spencer Wells forceps. I'm going to show you an example of each of these. So this is an example of your allies forceps. As you can see, these are tooth surgical instruments and they, this, the presence of these teeth makes them useful when grasping firm tissues such as fascia. Here, we can see Babcock forceps. As, as you can see in this picture here, these are jawed instruments with a smoothed end. This allows for more delicate structures to be handled without causing trauma. You would use Babcock forceps when dealing with bowel. These are Dunhill forceps. These are small forceps with curved serrated ends and these are often used to grasp vessels prior to ligation. Here, you can see lane tissue forceps. These have interlocking teeth, allowing grasping of tough tissues such as fascia. Here, you can see little wood forceps. These are sawtile forceps. As you can see, these have a curved end. And lastly, we have Spencer Wells forceps. The next type of forceps are your non-ratcheted forceps. There are three very common examples of these. Debakey, Lanes and Gillies. Debakey is your non-tooth forceps, and these are used in a wide variety of procedures. The unique feature about Debakey forceps is that they are able to grasp delicate tissues such as bowel without causing damage to them. On the other hand, Lane's forceps have, tooth, have teeth. They are therefore useful for grasping tissue, but they are absolutely not to be used when grasping bowel. Gillies forceps are narrow tooth forceps, and they can be used to grasp skin. Like Lane's forceps, these are not to be used when grasping bowel. So here are the images of each of the different types of non ratcheted forceps that are very commonly encountered in surgical practice. We have our Debakey, our Lane's and our Gillies forceps. As you can see, the Lane's forceps and the Gillies forceps have teeth, therefore do not use them when handling bowel. Moving on to scissors. There are two main types of scissors. Mayo scissors, are heavy scissors with semi-blunt ends. They are often used to cut thick tissues or sutures. They may be straight or curved. Macindo scissors are often used when cutting or dissecting tissue. They typically have a curved blade. Moving on to retractors. There's various different types of retractors available. These all vary according to size and length. Examples include Langenbeck, Travers, Morris, and St. Mark's retractors. Their use depends on the operation and the wound involved. Today, we're gonna to discuss the most commonly used retractors. The Langenbach retractor is a hooked shaped retractor with an L-shaped end used to keep back tissue or to separate the edges of wounds. They come in small, medium, or large sizes, depending on the depth of the cavity required. In this image, you can see the small retractors are labeled A, the medium sized retractors are labeled B, and the large retractors are labeled C. The Norfolk and Norwich retractor is a self retraining retractor. It's used to keep deep wounds and cavities open with blunt ends to reduce the risk of iatrogenic tissue injury. The Travers retractors are self retraining retractors with short ends. This makes them ideal when keeping superficial wounds open. Other surgical instruments that you're likely to encounter in your clinical practice include needle holders. Again, these come in various sizes and lengths, depending on the needle and the tissue in question. Sponge holding ramplies can be used to handle gauze or sponges. 
Towel clips are the are most commonly used to secure towels or drapes in place. However, they can be used to grasp tissue if needed. We hope this tutorial has helped to familiarise you with the common surgical instruments, increasing your confidence when joining the operation theatre early in your career. Take care and have a great day. See you at our next tutorial.